Hi everyone, this is Chris Fox and I have a quick video for you today. Um, we are going to be using the colors from Stampin' Up! Crumb Cake. This is Baja Breeze. And then we have a small accent of the Early Espresso here. Uh, to get our blossoms, we have used the Boho Blossoms Punch, and this is the new style. So if you guys are familiar with that, you'll notice it's got the lever and it opens up. So what I've done is I've cut the Early Espresso in the larger of the flowers. I've cut the Baja Breeze in one of these, and then two Baja Breeze here. And then of the Crumb Cake, I've cut two of these and one of these, and they're all laid out here, and I'll show you how we're going to use that in a second. We've also, I've also used um, the embossing folder, and this embossing folder is called Vintage Wallpaper. Uh, and if you've not used these before, you simply run it through your Big Shot. It starts out as just kind of a standard flat. You'll see there's not a lot of texture or anything here. We run it through, and you're going to see that there's now some texture. I don't think you can see it there. It's just absolutely beautiful. All right, we're going to start here with some um, Baja Breeze ink. And what I like to do is just go ahead and ink the edges just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to take our Baja Breeze and just ink those edges ever so slightly. Okay, and now we're going to take our scallop trim border punch, and this is that same style here, with a strip of crumb cake, and it doesn't have to be very long. We're going to, I think this is about three quarters of an inch. and use the Stampin' Wheel now. This piece is about one inch wide and we're going to go ahead and just use the Stampin' Wheel on the Baja Breeze pad here. If you're not familiar with that, this is your Stampin' Round wheel and the wheels come out of here and you can buy all sorts of different designs. This particular design here is called Baroque Border and it just pops right on and you'll see here that there's actually a place for an ink cartridge. Uh, we have the blanks that you can fill with your re-inkers. So these just pop right in and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and ink it up on the ink pad here and you'll notice that I'm not just going back and forth literally I'm just pulling it up to get a good coverage on the entire wheel. You'll also notice that on the wheels there's a seam and what I like to do is I like to start that seam off of my paper so that I don't get the seam in the middle of it. So we're going to go ahead and run that now. Alright so there's our border. <coughs> Now that crumb cake piece that we cut earlier, we're going to go ahead and just adhere that to the back of this piece here with our snail. We don't really need a lot. I usually will just run a single line down here and we'll go ahead and line that up. Okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take this piece that we already stamped around the edges on. And because it's embossed, you're going to want to do a little bit extra adhesive. So I'm just going to give it a little bit more. And i got to love the snail because it really does stick very well. And um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to stamp our image here that says happy birthday on here. So we'll set that aside. I should have waited. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so this is really cool. This is a hostess set. It's called Something to Celebrate, and um, we can use Happy Mother's Day, Happy Birthday, Easter Wishes. It's really a nice set. Okay, this is our Stampin' Block from Stampin' Up. The one thing you'll notice about these blocks, they're nice and thick. They've got a, a raised image on the side, so you really have something to get on to. I've used the dollar store ones or the ones that you get at Michael's and they just don't give you nearly enough room to hold on to. Um, I also learned this, if you push on the stamp it tends to stay on. And This is block D so we're going to go ahead and use Baja Breeze with that today. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp my image over to the right 
here. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're going to give this a little bit of adhesive here and a little on the back. Line that up just right about there. And then now the one that we already put adhesive on. <laughs> Alright, that's looking really nice. I'm really bad at lining these things up, so use my grid here. Alright. We're going to go ahead and take and cut those edges off, just trim them up a little. Okay. Very nice. Alright, so that's starting to look really nice there. Now we're going to go ahead and do our blossoms. And what I did with this, I found that my favorite tool is my hands. We work so hard with our hands and I wanted the blossoms not to lay so flat. And I didn't really want just dimension there, I wanted them to look like flowers. So what I found is that if I use the curve of my hand here, I can actually just push the flower into the palm of my hand and you can work it around a little bit. What you find is that you're going to get a curl like you would, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's cupped up and around. So I've gone ahead and done that with all of my layers here. Um, your Baja Breeze and your Early Espresso are going to lay on top of each other and I did sort of offset them so that it's not just right on top of each other. You're actually going to put it and offset that. I'm going to use our Tombow Mono Multi Glue to go ahead and glue those together. And then I layered this little piece of crumb cake right on the top. Again, I'm just squishing all of them. So I've already done those blossoms so that we don't have to wait. So this is what they're going to end up looking like. We've got these two here, which are your crumb cake and Baja Breeze. And then your last one, which is your two largest ones and then a third crumb cake. Okay, now each of these, oh, they always go flying, don't they? We're going to go ahead and go right about center with a little bit of glue. Okay, and there is that one. And of course you'll notice I topped it off with a little bit of our um, basic rhinestones. You get 150 of them for $4.95. It's really a good deal and it's a nice product. They're self-adhesive, so you don't have to worry about adhering them down. All right, we're getting very close, so we're gonna put those blossoms off to the side. Okay, now we've got our crumb cake base here. What I have found with the textured is if you go and you try to put the, the adhesive on here, it doesn't quite get in and you, it doesn't hold as well. So I like to take my snail and actually put it on the card itself. And you will want, you don't want to be stingy with the adhesive on this one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna line that up, give it a good push down. All right. And there we go, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the creativeness in your life. All right, bye-bye. I see your face in my mind as I drive away.